Hi friends, welcome to Sri Sai IT Hub. In this video of core Java programming, we are going to discuss the following topic, exception propagation in Java program. And in general words, we call this as transferring exception. So let us start with basically what is exception so exception means runtime error so what is this runtime error so runtime error means error which occurs during execution time of a program so when we are executing the program if we get any error so that error is called as runtime error and technically it is called as exception so why runtime errors will occur so basically we get runtime errors when we give incorrect input or wrong input while executing the program in that situations we get the runtime errors so what happens when exception occurs so when exception occurs our program execution stops at that particular line only remaining lines of statements are not executed in the program and technically it is called as abnormal termination of the program or breakdown of the program so how to avoid this abnormal termination or breakdown of the program so for this we have exception handling mechanism in exception handling mechanism we use try block throw keyword and catch block so when we perform exception handling mechanism there is no abnormal termination of the program it means that our program execution executes normally till the end of the main program so now let us try to understand what is this exception propagation in java program so coming to exception propagation so here sometimes exception occurs in a particular method in our java class and then there will be no solution for that exception in that particular method so it leads to abnormal termination of the program so in such case to avoid abnormal termination of the program we can propagate propagate or transfer that exception back to the calling method so whichever calling method has called that particular method we can transfer that exception back to the calling method and in calling method we are going to provide try catch and we can avoid abnormal termination of the program so to perform this exception propagation or transfer of exception from called method to calling method we use throws keyword so throws keyword should be used in the method signature for example let us say that the method name is void m1 method and inside the body of this m1 method we will get a exception but there is no solution so it leads to abnormal termination of the program so to avoid the abnormal termination of the program i will transfer this exception or propagate this exception back to the calling method so generally the calling method is main so using void m1 throws so throws is the keyword followed by exception class type so the exception which occurs in m1 method will be transferred back to the calling method generally it is a main method and in main method we use try catch so in main method for the calling method we have to use try catch block to provide the solution and then it will become normal execution of the program so this is what is exception propagation using throws keyword in method signature right so now let us try to demonstrate this with a small program exception propagation example one 
so program to demo exception propagation using throws keyword right so first we'll take the comment program to demo exception propagation using throws keyword class exception propagation example one and program execution starts with main method so save this program in our working directory exception propagation example one dot java we will save this in our working directory right so we'll take another method also something like public static okay we can take this method as default method because we are going to access this within the same class m1 method right so now in m1 method we'll take something like int a comma b comma c and then a is equals to 10 by mistake b is equals to 0 and then i want to print here system dot out dot println division plus c So here we'll take c is equals to a by b and then here we'll print one message also m1 method is getting executed at the beginning and then in the last m1 method execution done m1 method execution is done right so now let us call this method in the main method so in the main method we'll put one message here main method execution started okay and then here we'll call m1 method and then we'll also put one message here main method execution is done right so program execution starts with main method first it will display the message main method execution started and it is calling m1 method so m1 method is static method main method is also static method so we can call static content of the same class directly inside static method so from here line 9 it will come to line 13 and then it will take abc m1 method is getting executed a10 b0 so 10 by 0 will get exception here so we are getting exception in line 19 but there is no solution try catch it leads to abnormal termination of the program so open the command prompt go to your working directory compile the program java c exception completion example one dot java compile it no error and run it so we should get abnormal termination of the program so main method execution started m1 method is getting executed we got exception at line 13 so it is automatic exception we got it in m1 and the m1 method and this is called by main so main method is a calling method m1 method is a called so in line we are getting the exception and it is called at line 9 in main so we'll propagate this exception here so m1 method throws arithmetic exception so from line 19 the control goes to m1 method in line 9 so in line 9 we'll put try 
and catch. So we we'll catch here as arithmetic exception. So catch it as arithmetic exception and then give the solution system dot out dot println division by zero not okay right so let us save this recompile the program and run it so now if you see here main method execution started m1 method is called so m1 method is getting executed in line 19 will get the exception but now we have exception propagation so that exception will be transferred back to the main method in line 9 try catch division by 0 not ok main method execution is done so this is normal execution of the program using exception propagation so whenever you are doing exception propagation no need to have try catch in your particular method it will be transferred back to the calling method okay so the note point goes like this whenever exception propagation is done in our method using throws keyword then try catch is not required because such exception is transferred back to calling method so it will be transferred back to the calling method and in calling method we have to provide try catch otherwise it leads to abnormal termination of the program so however in calling method provide try catch otherwise it leads to abnormal termination of program so this is how we are supposed to perform exception propagation using throws keyword in java program so propagating or transferring from called method to calling method and in calling method we have to provide the solution for that particular method using try catch thank you for watching this video do like comment and share this video and also subscribe to the youtube channel sri sai it hub have a nice day